great guys so so good to connect with you and uh, today one common topic is uh, what has uh, brought us uh, together and that is the stock market so and uh, stock market uh, as i it is not taught in the schools it is not taught in the colleges in fact there is no formal education of stock market in our schooling system and uh, most people grow up uh, hearing stock market is gambling and good people don't go there i am an iitian when i got selected for uh, you know my iit my father who is a famous scientist in the uh, indian institute of petroleum now retired he said son you are going to a very prestigious uh, institute and uh, try to stay away from bad habits like smoking drinking drugs stock markets the other one i knew but stock market was new i said dad what is this stock market and he said i don't know some sort of a gambling and uh, at a tender age of 16 i was told stock market is gambling and till the age of 38 i had nothing to do with stock market so that happens with so many of us you know how many of you have been told by your family friends that stock market is gambling stay away from it guys right uh, in the chat box if uh, you have grown up with that notion a lot of you are uh, sharing that now so okay. almost a uh, lot of people but that is not true otherwise this session will not be there so today what we are going to talk about is how can we have stock market as a new skill to make money not gambling not speculation a whole new skill is uh, you know there to make money in the stock market that you can master you know you Uh, make a salary every month because you have a skill you are a doctor or you are engineer or you are a businessman or you practice some other profession you have the required skill and for which they pay you in stock market also if you acquire the required skill they will pay you for it the stock market will pay you for it and that's what we are going to learn today this is a 2 hour session guys from 9 o'clock to 11 o'clock you know and in this uh, i will try to cover as many topics as possible you know so that you but i assume that you are a beginner and i'll start from absolute zero you know. is it okay guys if i start from absolute basics zero right yes in the chat box if you know from the very basics is okay with you great guys yeah he said bilkul basics se shuru karte hain these are the different investment vehicles you know which people deal with stocks hai fd hai government deposits hai mutual funds hai real estate hai gold hai cash hai. all these are the various investment vehicles that we deal with and all of them have a risk inherent into this and they have a reward into it they have a risk and they have got a reward and we will focus on the stock market today but then these are the various uh, you know asset classes we have and the first rule that i became fascinated with when i was you know entering into the field of money was the rule of 72 now this is a very important rule what the rule of 72 it says 72 divided by the rate of interest is the number of years in which your money will become double that's why just saving is not enough at what rate your money is giving you interest is all the most important for example if your money is growing at 4% per year for example in 
LIC in pension funds, where it grows at about 4% per year, it will take 18 years for your money to double. That means by the time you retire, it will not even cover the inflation. At 6% per year, which currently is the FD, it takes 12 years for your money to double. At 8% per year, which is our PPS, it takes 9 years for the money to double. Around 12% per year, which is a normal good mutual fund, it takes about 6 years for the money to double. And uh, if you learn stock market properly, you know, trading in stocks, futures, options, commodity, forex, you can make about 24% per year on a conservative side. And when you become skilled, you can make more than this. Then it just takes three years for the money to double. And if I see this rate of growth over a period of 25 years, over a period of 25 years, if I see this uh, rate of growth, you know, then you know we will see the real difference. If you put your money into FD growing at uh, 6% per year, in 25 years, 1 lakh will become only 4.5 lakhs. At 12% per year, 1 lakh will become 16 lakhs. But if you learn how to make 2% a month, 24% per year, you know, your 1 lakh will become 4.8 crore rupees. That's why at what rate it grows makes all the difference. And when you are coming to the stock market, this is a reasonable expectation to have when you become skilled. You start with about 2% 2% a month, that's where most people normally start with. But gradually, as you become skilled with practice, you know, trading stocks, futures, and options, you should be able to make about 5 to 8% per month from the stock market. It takes time to reach that level, but then this is what professional traders aim for. It. This is what the professional traders in form. So this is a benchmark that you are looking. Keep 5% in mind that I should be generating about 5% a month from the stock market. In the start, everybody starts with about 2% a month, 24% a year. Now, what is the first rule of stock market? Now, first of all, even before I come here, what is stock market? Ye slide se pehle bhi dekhte hain ki stock market hai kya? What is it? This is the Indian stock market chart. This is the Indian stock market from the year 2000. This is 23 years journey of the Indian stock market. Ye saal ki yatra hai stock market ki. In the year 2000, Nifty, what is Nifty? Nifty is an index which depicts the overall trend of the market. You know, so here, guys, everybody can hear me properly. One, one person is not able to hear. Can you just confirm that my voice is coming okay? I've got a proper uh, mic here. Okay, everybody can hear just one person. Guys, if you can't hear, please restart. Now you see here, in the year 2000, stock market was here at about a thousand rupees. And from a thousand rupees, it has now become 19,000 rupees. It has become 19,000 rupees. And we see stock market goes up, up, and up. And every dip becomes an opportunity to buy. First of all, stock market is a growing field. Now, what is this stock market? 
stock market basically is a place where a businessman comes to raise capital where a businessman comes to raise capital let's say you want to start a business you want to start a business there are three methods now let's understand how why stock market is so important for the country it is the backbone of every country now if we see here there are three ways to start a business first simple way is with your own capital with your own capital with your own capital you can start your business you want to start a business capital required 1 crore rupees you have 1 crore rupees you start your business second way of starting the business is take a loan you can take a loan from you can put some of your own money rest you put a you know take a loan from a bank and you can start your business third way which is the stock market way is you know raise capital raise capital by diluting or sharing partnership by sharing the partnership so whenever there is a ipo initial public offer what is the businessman doing he is raising capital by giving you a share in his company by giving you a share into his company and this raising capital by sharing the partnership is where stock market comes there is a regulator all securities and exchange board of india there is a exchange national stock exchange bombay stock exchange and here stocks can be bought and sold so that is uh, and since the whole of the big businesses small businesses they raise capital from the uh, general people from fiis from dii's so stock market is very very important for the economy of a country that's why it is not a gambling den it is where a businessman raises capital and may, and by doing business it gives profit back to you like for example if we look at a stock like uh, reliance if you were you bought a reliance let's say at 480 rupees and today it is at 2550 rupees and you are the owner of reliance you own 100 shares your profit would have grown so much so that's why stock market is a place where the businessman raises capital from the general public does business generate profits and gives the profit back to them by the share price increase by giving dividends by giving bonus and by giving splits is this point clear guys just say yes if this point is clear this is where stock market starts your base is start. now in stock market if you see there are different kind of companies there are let's see there are different kind of companies that participate in stock market that participate in stock market first one is a micro 
small cap company. What is a small cap company? Any company whose net worth it is also called market capitalization, where market capitalization is, you know, less than market capitalization, less than 5,000. Most of the companies are small cap. There are more than four, 5,000 you know, small cap companies listed in India. Then, second kind of businesses that are listed in this on the stock market are the mid cap company. What is a mid cap company? Market capitalization between five thousand and. 20,000 crore. Please bear with me for about 10 minutes. Let me build the base and then we will talk about how will you make money from here. And then there is the third category of company called large cap company whose market capitalization is more than 20,000 crores. So, this small cap companies are about 3, 4,000, mid cap companies are about 2,000, but large cap companies are only about, you know, 200 to 250. And all these companies are listed on the stock exchange. They're listed on the stock exchange. Now, all these companies, how do they move? How does the price go up? How does the price go down? You know, let me take you to a slide. Here, if we go here to this slide, I'll just share the link with you here. Okay. We see here, in this segment, there are FII's and there are DII's. What is FII? FII is Foreign Institutional Investor. What is DII's? Domestic Institutional Investor. So, FII is the money coming from outside India in the Indian stock market, and DII is the money coming from India in the Indian stock market, which are mutual funds, insurance companies, banks, and everything. So, they are the ones who move the price of the stocks. They are the ones who move the price of the stocks. They decide the price of the stock. Now, you have two choices. Choice number one, you try to beat them every day. Or choice number two, find out what are they doing in that stock and do the same thing. Which one do you think is a more smart one? Number one or number two? Think and tell me. Dono mein se jada smart kaun sa hai? Number one or number two? Number two, exactly. All those who said number two, that is the correct answer. Number two. But uh, these people will not tell you. They will not come to your home or send you a WhatsApp and say, Hey, Pramod Oja, you are, I'm going to do this tomorrow. That means you have to find out what are they doing. And this skill of finding out what are the FII's and the DII's doing in a particular stock, in a particular index, in a particular commodity is what you have to learn. Now, let's look at the potential of this market. Now, the first question comes is, how will the stock market give me money? How will the stock market give me money? Let's take a very simple example. Let's say, 
This is a technical chart. What is this? This is a technical chart. We will cover stocks today. We will cover uh, you know futures. We will cover options. I'll also open up commodities and forex. This is a technical chart. On a technical chart, on the x-axis is the time. On the y-axis is the price. So the relationship between the price and the time is the chart. There are multiple types of chart. The very basic chart is called line chart. This is a line chart. If you have to make money in the stock market, you have to master the charts. Aapki chart me maharat hone chahiye. Aapko expert hona chahiye. So, till the time you don't master technical charts, you cannot make money in the stock market because since these charts are made by the buying and selling of FIIs and the DIIs, by understanding them, you understand the FIIs and the DIIs. Aap FIIs or DIIs ko samaj jate So, this is a line chart. Line chart is made by joining the closing prices. You know, joining the closing prices. Every day, there are four prices. Every day... There are four prices. What are the four prices? Price at which the market opens. Second price is the price at which the market closes, called the closing price. Third is lowest price of the day. And the fourth is the highest price of the day. The lowest price of the day and the highest price of the day. These four prices are what you need to understand. Now, this four price, for that there is a chart called bar chart. Now, this is a bar chart. If you see in bar chart, there are four prices. Open price, close price, high price. And a low price. Green bar means close was above the open. Red bar means close was below the open. This is the second chart called a bar chart. Then there is a third chart called the candlestick chart. Now, this is the most popular chart. I do majority of my trading on this, you know, candlestick charts. And Candlesticks were invented in Japan about you know, 250 years ago. And uh, at that time, anybody who knew candlestick charts was very rich. Because they, by looking at their shapes, their sizes, their patterns, their interactions with one another, you can tell exactly from here, is the price likely to go up? Or is the price likely to go down? So this is a, you know, third chart. Then the fourth chart, which is a simple and a very effective chart, is called a Renko chart. In this, their candles are not there. In this, we have the bricks. We have the bricks in this. And this is a purely execution chart. Now, these charts exist in multiple time frames. They exist in multiple time frames. For example, this is the yearly chart of Reliance. This shows the movement of Reliance every year. If I look at Yes Bank, Yes Bank crash down it is the price so you can see the overall picture just by looking at this big picture what kind of a stock are you dealing with 
Okay. Give me one of your stock and I'll try to see a few on this chat. Write in the chat box your favorite stock. And I'll try to show you a yearly chart of that stock to you. Then you can understand what kind of a business, what kind of a company are you dealing with. Like Hindal. One of my friends want to know about Hindalco. So if you look at Hindalco, you see Hindalco is a company that remained, it didn't move much for many, many years. In the last three years, it has moved a little. Now, then one of my friends say, okay, show me Tata Motor. Tata Motor. And you see, this is Tata Motor. And you see, Tata Motors is a company that moves up. Then Nestle. This is Nestle. And you see, this is a company that continuously moves up. Then Infi. I, I cannot take all of you. There are a lot of people, guys, today. So, But I'll take a few. See, this is a company that moved up and now coming down. So we get to see, know about the companies by looking at the yearly chart. This is a monthly chart. It tells you what is the movement on that stock every month. Now we are touching the ABCD of charting. This is the monthly chart. Monthly chart gives you the big picture of the stock. It gives you the big picture of the stock. Then this is the weekly chart and this is the daily chart. The chart, now then this is a intraday chart. This is a intraday chart. Let's go to the most uh, used chart that you will be using in your trading, which will be the daily chart. This is the daily chart that we are looking at. And this daily chart, if you see, there are green uh, candles, there are red candles in this. I'll come to this. Let me cover a few slides. Now, in how many directions is the price moving? Yes. Please participate and write in the chat box. In how many directions does the price move? Very good. Price moves in three directions. Everybody who said three is the correct answer. Price moves up, down, and sideways. Price moves up, down, and sideways. So this is the first thing to know. Price can move in three directions. Up, down, sideways. Price can move in three directions, up, down, and sideways. And you will make the most money only if you can make money in all three directions. Now, first thing you have to know is you have to know how to make money in all three directions. How to make money in all three directions. And that's why you have to understand what are the different products in the market. Nikhil Nima say, what is the sideways? Sideways is a horizontal movement. Nikhil? Sideways is a horizontal movement that happens when it doesn't move up or down. Like for example, this one here, from here to here is a sideways move. You see here, this is a sideways move, right? That is what we are looking, a sideways move. Now, Are you liking the session so far, guys? I hope, you know, you're getting some basic concepts clear. Now, if you have to 
be in the stock market, then you have to make money in three directions. You have to make money in three directions. Now, let's come to the first product. The first product is a stock, is a stock. Now stock, the limitation kya hai? Can make profit only when the price moves up. Can make profit only when the price moves up. If the price moves down, you know, you will lose money in a stock, any stock, because that's how a stock is designed. Most people know only stocks. But stock is a very limited product. It's good, but it is a limited product. The second product is future. Future is a derivative. What is a derivative? A product whose value is derived from something else. Mm -hmm. And if the value of that something else changes, the value of the product will also change. What is common between a cotton shirt, cotton pant, and cotton uh, socks? What is the underlying of a cotton pant, cotton shirt, and a cotton socks? What is the underlying guys? Cotton. Very good, Shamila. It is the cot. Very good, Naranjan Shekhar. Excellent. So, cotton. So, if the price of cotton will go up, the value of your shirt will also go up. If the price of cotton will go down, the price of your shirt will also go down. So, in stock market, there are two derivatives. One is futures. Another is options. Now, future can give profit in three direct in two directions. Directions up and down. And the most versatile product is called options. which can give profit in three directions. Three directions, up, down, and sideways. And give profit in three directions, up, down, and sideways. And to be a successful trader, you need to master all three. They're dependent on each other. You need to master the stock also, the future also, and the option also. Tino aapko ana chahiye. And, uh, you know, let's take a very simple trade. There are three parts of a trade. There are three parts of a trade. What are the three parts of the trade? First is entry. Second part is, can anybody make a guess? What is the second component of a trade? No, second is stop loss. Very good. Isne bhi stop loss bola, sahi bola. Second is stop loss. And third is exit. Third is exit. There are three parts of a trade. Entry, stop loss, and exit. Now, let's take an example. E example let there. Let's say I pick up a stock like TCS. Let's say I picked up TCS. This is a stock here. 
and I am looking at a let's say this straight. Let's take a live example here. Now, TCS was falling down, falling down, falling down here. And this is where TCS turned back. TCS turned back here. Then after it moved up, let's mark this level. I'm marking this level. It turned up, then formed a bearish engulf, a candlestick pattern, then moved down and touched here. It touched a level. This is called a Z accumulation zone, also called a demand zone. Demand zone. Now According to uh, the candlestick pattern, this is a buy, uh, you know, place. This is a buy place. I'll remove this. And I decide to buy TCS here. At this price, I decide to buy TCS at 3189. I decided that I buy TCS buy. Now, what are my four possibilities? My four possibilities is, if it goes up, I'll make money. On the upper side, I can have a small profit. Okay. I can have a small profit. Or if it goes very much up, I can have a big profit. So on the upper side, two scenarios, I can have a small profit or I can have a big profit if it goes up. Similarly, on the lower side, I can have a small loss or I can have a big loss. Now tell me for my capital, capital is king here. For my capital, out of these four, which one is the most dangerous? In charo me se, mere capital ke liye, sabse jada khatarna kaun sa hai? Very good, big loss. Lot of people come here with the you know, expectation of big profit, but many people actually end up taking big losses. This chat of yours is private. Nobody else can see it, guys. Can you write in the chat box, say yes, if you have suffered a big loss and that is your challenge? Everybody is promising the moon, but till the time, you get out of the big loss zone, you cannot go into the profit zone of the market. Many of you have suffered big loss and you want to get into the profit zone now. So what does the skill do? The skill takes you from the loss zone to the profit zone. Now, let's understand a very base principle here. First thing I do is, I say, how do you avoid, how to avoid, how to a, we avoid a big loss? The first thing my mentor Jeffrey taught me, how to avoid a big loss? Plan a, it's as simple as this. How to avoid a big loss? Plan a small loss. Now, this is exactly where I was on this slide. Let's look at this slide. Every trade will result in four situations, big profit, 
small profit, small loss or big loss, you have to avoid big loss at any cost. If you avoid the big loss, small profits and small losses will cancel each other and what will remain in your system will be a big profit and you only need two big profits in 10 trades. I repeat, you only need two big profits in 10 trades, provided you have no big loss. Is the math clear to everybody? Math clear to everybody? If you don't have a big loss, then small loss or small profit cancel each other. और सिस्टम में 10 में से दो भी बिग प्रॉफिट होंगे तो आप बहुत अच्छा प्रॉफिट बनाएंगे दिस इज द वेरी बेस ऑफ द स्टॉक मार्केट स्टॉक मार्केट स्टार्ट्स फ्रॉम हियर दिस इज द स्टार्ट ऑफ द जर्नी ये पहला पिलर है ये पहला पिलर है स्टॉक मार्केट का रिस्क मैनेजमेंट स्टॉक मार्केट स्टार्ट्स फ्रॉम रिस्क मैनेजमेंट द एबिलिटी टू मैनेज योर risk that is the ability then there are three main types of tradings you have to practice first intraday trading what is intraday trading when you trade last for one day single day ek din aapka trade last karta hai then you are doing intraday trading swing trading when you can catch a few weeks move two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, a move is going on, you are catching that move. Then positional trading is for wealth creation, where your trade lasts for months altogether. Where your trade lasts for months altogether. And it has to be a rule-based trade. Ye tino mein aapko mastery honi Does it take a long time to learn stock market? No. Once you learn it scientifically, you can learn stock market properly in a few days. Now, what are your trading vehicles? Stocks, stock futures, index futures, stock options, index options, commodity futures, and forex futures. Yes, Abana Chai. And to be successful, these are the 10 major aspects of stock market you have to master. Iske bin aap enter kar nahi paoge. Price action, candlestick patterns, demand and supply principle, risk management principle, oscillators and indicators, open interest, volatility, momentum, Multiple time frame analysis and sector rotation. Now, let's start from one place. The first is price. Let's start with simple price action first. And let me start from Nifty. What is a Nifty? Market has four indexes. Nifty. Bank Nifty, Fin Nifty, and Midcap Nifty. These are indexes. Now, this is the market. And we see it goes up, it goes down, it goes sideways. It seems like it's very random. But it's not very random. Now, let me ask you simple questions. How many trading days are there in a week? एक वीक में कितने ट्रेडिंग डेज होते हैं? फाइव ग्रेट। हाउ मेनी ट्रेडिंग डेज इन अ मंथ? ट्वेंटी ग्रेट। सो हाउ मेनी ट्रेडिंग डेज इन अ ईयर? टू हंड्रेड फोर्टी एक्सेलेंट शेखर। टू हंड्रेड फोर्टी। नाउ व्हाट इज दिस this is trend line. What is this? This is trend. This is uptrend. What is this? This is denotes a uptrend. 
So this, this denotes a downtrend. This is not a downtrend and there is a sideways trend. Now, how do we know when will the uptrend finish and the downtrend will start? When will the uptrend finish and downtrend will start? Let's remove everything. There is a technical uh, tool called moving average moving average i'm adding into this a 240 day moving average study add study moving average 240 days the number of days in a year let's add that Now, this one, I call this one as a balance line. Balance line. And in the next five minutes, you will yourself tell me whether the price will go up or whether the price will go down. Let's see how does the market behave. This market, let's rally back. This is the balance line. As the price, have you seen a pendulum? Pendulum goes on one side, the kinetic energy gets transferred into the potential energy. At one point, it can't go up, it reverses back, goes to the other side. Potential energy changes into kinetic energy, again goes to the other side, and the cycle continues. Same happens in stock market here. That is a balanced line. This is imbalanced price. This is a imbalanced price. Once the price becomes imbalanced, it starts coming back towards the balanced line. Goes to the other side. Again becomes imbalanced. Once it in becomes imbalanced, it comes back. Now, what has happened? It goes up, becomes imbalanced. Right? Now, then this was a very big event that happens, which was COVID. Now, the price became hugely imbalanced. Look at the imbalance that happened. A kind of imbalance that had never happened before. And that's why when the price becomes hugely imbalanced, on what side will it go? It will start, it will run back towards the balance line. And we see that's exactly what happened despite uh, all the COVID and other things. Stock market, you know, rallied up, went back to the balance line. Then from here, it went to the other side, again became imbalanced, again became imbalanced, it became the imbalanced price, and you see, the moment it became imbalanced, it again started coming back towards, it eventually will come back to the balance line. And now if we look here, look at this market now. Tell me now, right now, is the price balanced or imbalanced? Yes, is the price balanced or imbalanced? So from here, is the market likely to go up or likely to come down? So, let's see what are your choices. Market going up. Market going up. What can you do? You can buy stock. 
you can long future or you can buy you can do three actions you can buy a stock you can long a future or buy a call or buy a call these are the three actions you can do then when market is likely to go down market going down you can sell stock but you will not make any money when it comes down then you can short future or you can buy a put option you can buy a put option so these are the three actions you can take now let's see tomorrow or monday when i say tomorrow I mean monday i know market is heated market is hot but how to find out that out of the 8000 stock for which one to buy a put option for which future to short or which stock to get out if this would be a very crucial skill to have let me show you a small demonstration i want to know which particular stock is the one i'll focus on monday morning so i can engage into a process called technical filtering i can engage into a process called technical filtering i go to tools here and i add a scan in this let's say what to trade on let's say on 3rd july 23 what to trade on 3rd july 23 so the first thing i do is i choose from this the stocks that are in futures and options since i am looking to buy a put or short a future so stock is not of much use to me so i say show me the stock out of the 8000 which have fo underlying so i choose it here and then i put a few technical condition let's say I say, show me a stock where let's say ADX average directional index is greater than forty. So add to grid, save and scan. See immediately it's scanned. Out of 8,000 stocks, how many are left now? 49. Kitne bache? 49 bache. So, abhi mujhe 8,000 dekhne ki zarurat nahi hai. Maine apne list ko 49 kiya. Maine ye bhi jada hai. I edit it further and I say, show me the ones which are overbought. So, I go here and say, I say, show me the ones where RSI is greater than, I give a value of 70 in this. I add it to the grid and click on save and scan again. So how many are left now? Only 19 now. I say, even this is, I want less than 10. So I add one more conditions in this. I say, I want to look at stock where, let's say, price, last traded price 
has gone above the Bollinger Band. Bollinger Band upper. Once you tra get trained in technical, you can also do this. I click on save and scan and see I found my eight stocks. Mujhe mere art stock mil gaye. What are these eight stocks? I can just, uh, you know, list those eight stocks. I have, it took me five minutes to find my eight stocks. So, you know, to find my eight stocks. And now these eight stocks, I will open up in technical analysis and see which one looks like a potential candidate to buy a put option, to buy a put option. Now, this one is not a candidate because this one has a breakout. Never short a breakout. Never buy put in a breakout. So this one is out. Let's uh, now do further filtering. And you can do all this when the market is closed after you come back from your office. Now I take this out. Then Glenmark Pharma. And I see Glenmark Pharma is a very good candidate. It's a really good candidate because Glenmark Pharma is forming a pattern called double top. Forming a pattern called double top and double top is a 70% probability pattern. And the candle that is formed here is called inverted hammer. Called inverted hammer. And this inverted hammer, you know, is confirming to me that this move is over. So now, let's go to Glenmark Pharma. I found one good one, Glenmark Pharma. Glenmark Pharma. We see, so Glenmark Pharma as a stock is useless for me. Second choice we have in Glenmark Pharma now is I can short a future of Glenmark Pharma. I go to derivatives and in this I choose Glenmark Pharma expiry 27th July and first I choose a future And you see, in future, there is a date. In a stock, there is no date. But futures have got an expiry date. <coughs> the expiry date of Glenmark future is 27 July 23. <coughs> and the lot size is 1452. Let me plan my trade in this. Remove all trades here. <coughs> First trade is an intraday trade. Intraday trade is very simple. I say on Monday morning, I will enter the trade as it comes at 6.75. I will put my stop loss above the swing high, <coughs> 9 rupee above at 684. 
and I will keep my target around this point where the breakout started. So now this is a trading. What, what I have done? I have created a trading setup. I have created a trading setup. And in this uh, trading setup that I have created, you know, I can actually now, you know, automate my trade. Now, I can <coughs> put this trade in the system itself. Now, let's say I say I am selling 100 stocks in intraday let's first look at <coughs> intraday trading i'll sell 100 stocks at 675.8 i will get out if the price reaches at 684 and i will book my profit at 646.9 now, the first thing you see here is, if I'm wrong, I will lose 9 rupees. But if I'm right, I will make 28 rupees. So, if you take 10 trades like this, in 5 the stop loss is hit, and in other 5 the target is achieved, will you overall make profit or loss? Yes, think and tell. You'll make profit because <clears throat> your profits are bigger, losses are smaller. You are working on a reward to risk ratio of 3.18. 3.18. And this trade you can put into the system. You say, I said 100 stocks I'm taking. I am placing the trade in the system. I have placed the trade into the system on this one. And you see, my trade is already in the system. Now, most people think that to do intraday trading, you have to sit in front of the market for the whole day. Kitte log ke dimaak mein ye ek soch hai intraday trading karne ke liye pure din market ke saamne baitna padega. If you have this thought in your mind, you are wrong. <coughs> because, abhi aap ye bata dihye, mujhe abhi Nikhil Nima, abhi Sheik Katore, dousre, aap ke market ke saamne baitne se, kya price jada tej upar niche jayega? Yes or no? By your being near the market, will the price move more? No. Now, answer another thing. By being near the market, will you become emotional by looking at the price and do something which is not to be done? Exactly. <laughs> That's why best intraday trading is done when you put like i put my trade into the system now this facility is now available what you are thinking is 20 years old we are now in an age of automated trading and algo trading where you can automate your trades where you can automate your trades guys so you know now we have identified the trades we have planned our trade. So now I've planned the trade. I have shorted 100 stocks. If I am wrong, I will lose 900 rupees. If I'm right, I will make 2,800 rupees in the system. And from today till Monday morning, 9.15, I can modify it as many times as I want. I can just modify it as many times as I want. I can cancel it 
at any time. So, the market does not require your physical presence. The market requires your skill and your trading setups. Requires your skills and your trading setups. So, this is a simple example of how you can create your own trading setups. Let's go. So this was a very simple price action that I took here. Then let's take another example here where I check out, let's say I want to trade Indigo. Indigo is, it had a good, big up move, breakout. पर मैं थोड़ा सा कंफ्यूज हूँ कि ये नीचे आएगा या और ऊपर जाएगा, right? <coughs> Now Now I can take the help of an indicator. Abhishek Katori says, how we will filter the stocks as you did? You can learn it, Abhishek. I will tell you how you can, uh, you know, learn it from me. You know, another session I will tell you that. You know? But let's focus on some learning first. I go into this, into a tool called MACD, Moving Average Convergence Divergence. And I look for a divergence. Now, this one down is telling me the buying and selling. It's a very powerful tool. What is this? This is a MACD crossover. This is a MACD crossover. Like, for example, this one gave you a buy signal here. This is a buy signal that you got here in this one. And it gave you a sell signal here. Based on this simple tool, you could have initiated a trade where you bought Indigo at 1,856 rupees and you exited Indigo at 424, you know, at 2280, getting 424 rupees. And this trade lasted about two months. So now tell me, what type of trading did you practice? Hello. I told you there are three types of trading. What type of trading did you practice, guys? Very good. Uh, Nanjappa, excellent. Positional trading. When your trade lasts for a few months, it is called positional trading. And in this, what are the three uh, instruments you could have used? Chalo, bataiye, isme kaun se teen instrument aap use kar sakte the? Yes, stock. Number one, stock, simple stock. Because stock can give you money when price is going up. Second is, Future long. You can do a future long. And third is you can buy a call options. Options are magic. Now let's see what is the potential of an option. Let's go here. Today our market nifty. You see nifty. 
Nifty went up 1.14% today. That was the moment of Nifty, 1.14%. But if you would have bought a call option of Nifty, of 27th July, call option of, let's say, 19,000 call. How much did it go up in a single day? 48% up. So it went 48% up in a single day. How is that possible? How can an option go up 48% when the underlying has moved only 1%. That's because options is an inflated product. It is a speculative product. And the beauty with this product is, you know, you cannot lose more than the premium that you pay. So what do you pay? What do you pay? In a stock, in stock, you pay hundred percent capital. You pay hundred percent capital in future. You pay ten percent margin, and in option, I'm I'm telling roughly it is well, ten, twelve, thirteen, but roughly in option, you pay two percent of the premium. That's why because of this differential therefore these products have different leverages. Different leverage. What is the leverage of a stock? Stock, what is the leverage? Leverage is 100 divided by 100 is equal to 1. Both important concept. 100 by 100 divided by 1 means with a 1% move, your profit or loss will be 1%. It will move 1 time. Speed is 1 time. In future, the leverage is 100 divided by 10 is equal to 10 times. 10 times means if your profit, if your 1% move happens in your favor, your profit will be 10 times fast. But if it moves against you, your loss will also be 10 times fast. In option, in option, it will be 100 divided by 2 is equal to 50 times. To 50 times. is equal to 50 times. So in the uh, future, so in option, if a 1% move happens, you will, your profit will rise 50 times fast. But if your technical analysis, chart reading is wrong, it moves against you, 
your loss will also be 50 times faster so which one is the most risky product guys stock future or option which one is the most risky option exactly but if you know how to control it and how to trade it then this can be a fantastic product to go into it can be a very good product to go into so these are the you know you need to master this price action candlestick pattern demand and supply risk management oscillator indicators open interest volatility momentum multiple time frame analysis and sector rotation in this like for example now i want to know here what will nifty do on monday i can pick up now this is call option chain this is option chain where there are call options put options option buyers option writers and just by looking at this number down call open interest i can tell in a fraction whether from here the price is going up or price is going down and by looking at these levels and this builds up i can even tell till what level will it go and this is the information which is priceless guys so now tell me very simply who will make money from whom isn't the person who is knowing all this will make money from the person who doesn't know anything and just comes to stock market say yes if you agree with me guys exactly that is what is very important that if you if you come here please come here properly yahan pe properly aana bahut zaruri if you come properly then you will stay longer here into this market so futures and options so what is the skill set required stock selection chart reading with technical analysis stock filtering to find high probability trades risk management methods mastery of online platform online platform is uh, so important because then your your requirement is not there the system will do it for you using your brain high probability trading strategies in my class that i do a three day class that i do i teach 10 proven winning strategies that i'm using for almost 20 years now rational decision making training money management and trade management and managing your emotions during trading this is again very important most people are not able to handle their emotions emotions ko handle karna bahut important hai in the chat box right if you became emotional and couldn't control your trade actually chat box mein likhiye jo emotional ho gaye aur unse aapka trade nahi samla and you made a loss that is so much common that you understand that all these challenges are there in trading that's why you know it's important to learn it okay guys uh, i'm teaching for almost uh, one and a half hours so let me introduce myself in brief that's me my name is uh, Yogeshwar Vashisht I'm a civil engineer by profession I've done my mtech from uh, IIT Roorkee you know and uh, blessed with uh, two boys you know and uh, both of them uh, you know have they have done their education from US and the elder one is back and he is with me doing trading this is my mtech degree I you know so it was a lot of hard work to get this mtech degree from iit roorkee 
this was my trading room this is the place from where i am speaking to you right now every trader will have a setup this is my five screen setup see four here and one there this is my five screen setup i love to read so my trading room is full of books and i believe uh, you need the blessings of your parents with you and you can go places this is my father and mother here their photograph i started my journey with scanska a swedish multinational and i was making hydropower projects in sri lanka sweden norway and my last project was in peru in south america i started learning trading when i was in sri lanka from one of my mentors called jeffrey and uh, when i was moving to peru south america he said if you get chance learn from pristine academy of usa they are very good so in peru i enrolled myself for online course of pristine academy of usa and that was the a very serious start of my journey and i wanted to come back to india you know i didn't like the traveling uh, you know uh, life i wanted a more settled life so i trained under them for about 4 years from 2002 to 2006 i trained under them and by 2006 i was making about 10% a month on my capital i thought uh, time to come back in uh, february 2007 i came back to india i stay in mumbai and uh, i became a full time trader and uh, it has been a very rewarding journey then in uh, 2010 i got another very good opportunity i became part of this uh, wonderful group of international traders learned a lot from them that's me yogeshwar vashisht learned a lot from them and uh, thanks to them the trading went to the next level by this time i also started teaching coaching and mentoring people and uh, by 2012 uh, this was my company that opened pathfinders trainings.in this is uh, bollinger bands you know creator john bollinger and uh, i started uh, teaching and coaching people this was my first batch of 35 students that passed out and uh, after that almost 125 physical batches passed out all over india but since everybody couldn't come to mumbai where i'm based in 2017 the courses became totally online and these are the various people who passed out from the physical courses before they became totally online i believe it is a skill and a you know a teacher a coach a mentor is required till you reach a level and you become independent so that's what i do i help people to become professional traders and uh, all walks of life you know 